mythology about bilingualism uh, has been shown to be uh, to be false. And not only does uh, exposure to two languages from early in life not harm young babies, uh, it also seems to benefit them, and it benefits individuals throughout the lifespan in young adulthood uh, and in particularly in old age. Uh, and the uh, recent studies uh, have shown that using two languages actively uh, seems to create a set of benefits and protections uh, that, uh, th that are really quite remarkable. So uh, bilinguals and the, the, the studies that are probably the most dramatic uh, and that people may have read about in the recent uh, media uh, are that Older bilinguals who are going to develop uh, some kind of pathology, so uh, dementia of the Alzheimer's variety, uh, who uh, have been bilingual their entire life, seem to present with the symptoms of Alzheimer's about four to five years later than their monolingual counterparts, which is really quite a remarkable result. Uh, at present, we have no drug that will delay the onset of Alzheimer's symptoms by four to five years, and yet using two languages actively in your life seems to do that. Now, some people say, well, maybe it's just bilinguals who are living in an entitled environment, who are educated, who are uh, economically well-to-do, well-off. And what we know is that uh, these, uh, this delay of Alzheimer's type symptoms has been shown in uh, groups of bilinguals who live in places where they are in poverty and where uh, they aren't advantaged or they aren't educated. So this seems to be something about using two languages. In, uh, in adulthood, in early childhood, what we see is that bilingualism seems to exercise uh, the mind and the brain in exceptional ways. Uh, so the uh, the claim is that uh, bilinguals uh, seem to use both lang have both languages available all of the time. And this has been a very surprising result in the scientific research on this topic. When you speak to someone who's bilingual, typically they don't make mistakes. They don't slip into the wrong language. Uh, they don't inadvertently, if they may not know whether you speak the languages that they speak. Uh, and what we see is that uh, bilinguals have both languages available, uh, but they very rarely make mistakes. And at the same time, they do something that's quite remarkable. They will sometimes switch from one language to the other in the middle of a sentence, uh, something that we call code switching. And the fact that bilinguals can do that and at the same time not create confusion in their, uh, in their spoken language suggests that they have developed a cognitive uh, ability to control their two languages. And we think it's that ability that is then enabling them uh, to become more cognitively flexible across the entire uh, lifespan, across the entire range of their life. Uh, and in the recent studies, uh, we and many others have shown that uh, bilingualism, uh, bilingualism seems to uh, create a set of benefits that enable bilinguals to be more cognitively flexible, enable them to do what we think about in ordinary life as being multitasking, uh, being able to switch from one situation to another. Uh, we see uh, greater ability to pay attention uh, to the intended uh, information uh, that's uh, critical, uh, and we see the ability to ignore information that's irrelevant.